we know that nouns are naming words that name people, places, animals and things. Now let us read the two sentences given here. Radhika's car is blue in color. Radhika's school is very far away. Now in both these sentences, now in the first sentence, Radhika's car is blue in color. Radhika's shows possession, whereas in this sentence, Radhika's school is very far away. Radhika's shows belonging. So, Radhika's is possessive noun. It shows possession or belonging. So, a possessive noun shows ownership or possession of or belonging to a thing, a person, an animal or a place. I always follow my grandmother's advice. So here, grandmother's is the possessive noun and you will see that it is indicated by the apostrophe followed by an S. So we have an apostrophe followed by an S to show our possessive noun. The bus's tire has punctured. You will notice that here our noun is a singular noun which is ending with S and we are showing it as a possessive noun by using apostrophe followed with an S. So it is a singular possessive noun but if we have the bus's windows were all broken. Here buses is a plural noun. So how do we show a plural possessive noun? We do not write apostrophe followed by an S in such a case when the plural noun ends with S. In such a case, we only give the apostrophe. Now remember this, if you have a plural noun which is ending with S, then to show it as a possessive noun, you have to just use the apostrophe. The children's fest in school was a huge success. Now here, our noun is a plural noun which is not ending with S and so to show a plural possessive noun, we use the apostrophe followed by the S. So we have the children's fest in school was a huge success. Jack and Jill's nursery is beautifully decorated. So in this case, you see that we have used two nouns, Jack, Jill. So remember that when you have more than one noun, to show the possessive noun, we use apostrophe S after the last noun. We do not write Jack's and Jill's. We write Jack and Jill's. Smith's pet dog is ferocious. Now here, Smith is a proper noun which is not ending with S. So to show it as a possessive noun, we will use the apostrophe followed by an S. But in this case, James' new car is red in color. What do we see here? Here, our proper noun ends with S. In such a case, to show it as a possessive noun, we only use the apostrophe and do not write the S after it. So we have James' new car is red in color. Saurav Ganguly's autobiography is a bestseller. So what do we see here? When we have a full name, which consists of a first name and a last name, we use the apostrophe and then an S only after the last name to show it as a possessive noun. Now let us read these two sentences. The teachers went for a school picnic. The teacher's bag was lost in the school picnic. Now in both these sentences, we have the word teachers, which is pronounced in the same way, but written slightly differently. So what is the difference between them? When we write teachers without the apostrophe S, then it means that we are talking about a plural noun and it is a common noun. But when I say teachers with an apostrophe S, then it becomes a possessive noun. Now this is a singular possessive noun. Now let us do this exercise. Rewrite the sentence correctly. 
I really like my grandmother's cookies. Now, is this sentence correct? No, we have written grandmothers as a plural here and we have written cookies as a possessive noun here, which is not correct. It is not making any sense. So, how will we write this sentence correctly? We will write it as, I really like my grandmother's cookies. So, here grandmother's is the possessive noun, whereas cookies is the plural here. Rewrite the sentence by using the possessive noun. The blanket of the baby is very soft. So, the blanket of the baby, now this shows possession or belonging. So, we can write this part as a possessive noun. And how will we write it? We will write it as the baby's blanket is very soft. So, today we have learnt about possessive nouns and how we write them or use them with singular nouns and plural nouns. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.